Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to make your own gold record album from scratch. This document is 1000 by 1000 pixels with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. Double click your background and we'll name it BG for background and press enter or return. Go to view and make sure rulers and snap are checked. Press control or command plus T to call up your transform tool and go to the left ruler and drag out a line to the center until it snaps in place. Repeat it with the top ruler then press enter or return. Call up your gradient tool and click on the gradient box. Choose the foreground to background gradient and click on the lower left stop. Click on the color box and I'm typing in 988080. Click OK and click on the lower right box. Click on the color and I'm choosing 282423. Close the windows, go to the center, press shift, and drag out a line to the right and release. Go to filter and filter gallery. Open the texture folder and choose texturizer. We'll choose sandstone for the texture, the scaling 70%, the relief is 3, and light from the top. Click on the folder icon to create a new group folder. Then click on the new layer icon to make a new layer. We'll fill it with black and since black is our foreground color press Alt or Option plus Delete. Let's rename the folder Record. Click on the layer mask icon to make a layer mask next to the folder. Fill it with black. Call up your elliptical marquee tool and go to the center and press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option and drag out a circle. Then fill the selection with black. Go to Select and Transform Selection. Click on the chain link between the width and the height. Type in 2.72%. Based on the size of our record, this reduces the size of the selection to match the size of the hole in the center. Press Enter or Return to accept it. Fill the selection with black. Now all the layers in our record folder will be masked with the shape of a record with a hole in the center. To delete the selection press Control or Command plus D. Click on the black layer to make it active and we'll rename it Grooves. Go to Filter, Noise and Add Noise. We'll make the amount 20%, Gaussian and Monochromatic. Go to Filter, Blur and Radial Blur. The amount is 70, the Blur method spin and the quality best. We need to brighten it up so we'll go to Image, Adjustments and Brightness Contrast. We'll make the brightness 20 and the contrast minus 20. Click on the Adjustment Layer icon and choose Color Balance. By clicking on this Clipping Mask icon it makes the Adjustment Layer affect only the one layer beneath it, in this case the Grooves layer. We'll make the cyan red 32, magenta green 9, and the yellow blue minus 100. Make sure the midtones are chosen and the luminosity is unchecked. We'll make another adjustment layer by clicking on brightness contrast. Click the clipping mask icon and slide the brightness all the way to the right and the contrast to the right. We'll add a third adjustment layer by clicking on levels. Click on the clipping mask icon and we'll slide the input highlights to 170. We can close the properties window and click on the new layer icon to make a new layer. Fill it with black. Go to filter, render and clouds. Go back to filter, render and difference clouds. To intensify this effect press control or command plus F three more times. Go back to Filter, Blur, and Radial Blur. The amount is 100. We'll choose Zoom this time and the quality is best. We need to invert it. To do this press Control or Command plus I. Change the Blend Mode to Soft Light. Make the Opacity to 50%.
make a new layer and click on the layer mask icon to make a layer mask next to the empty layer. I'll rename it Silence. This layer will be the silence sections in between tracks as well as the inside and outside rings of the record. Click on the foreground color and I'll choose B28913. Fill the empty layer with the foreground color. Click on the layer mask to make it active. Go to the record shape layer mask and press Control or Command to make it into a selection. Go to Select and Transform Selection. Go to a corner and press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option and drag in just a little bit as wide as the empty outer ring of a record. To accept it, press Enter or Return. Since black is our background color, press Control or Command plus Delete to fill the selection in the layer mask with black. Go to the record shape and press Control or Command to make it back into a selection. Go to Select and Transform Selection. Click on the chain link. I'll type in 42.2%. Based on the size of the overall record, this is the percentage of the size of the inside empty area. Press Enter or Return to accept it. Fill the selection in our layer mask with white. We'll start making the individual tracks now. Go to Select and Transform Selection. As before, go to a corner and press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option and drag out a circle. Press Enter or Return and go to Edit and Stroke. The width is two pixels, color is white, and the location center. As soon as you click OK or press Enter or Return, the stroked circle is automatically applied to your layer mask. To make our second track, repeat the same process. Go to Select and Transform Selection, drag out another circle, and go to Edit and Stroke. We'll keep the same parameters. Continue this process to make a few more tracks in the layer mask. Click on the solid color layer to make it active, and call up your brush tool. I'll start with a 150 point brush, the Blend Modus Color Dodge, and the Opacity 35%. To make your brush larger or smaller, press the right or left bracket key respectively. Now brush across and brush over areas of the rings with various size brushes to brighten and enhance the color. Make a new layer, and we'll name it Reflections. I'll choose a 300 point size brush, make the Blend Mode Normal, and the Opacity 100%. Go to the left of the record, hold Shift, and drag to the right. Press Ctrl or Command plus T to call up your Transform tool, and go to Edit, Transform, and Perspective. Go to the top right corner and drag down to the horizontal guideline. Then go to the top left corner and drag up. Click inside the Transform and drag it to the left until it snaps to the center. Then press Enter or Return. Make a copy of it by pressing Ctrl or Command plus J. Go to Edit, Transform, and Flip Horizontal. Call up your Move tool, click on it, and drag it straight across until it snaps to the center. Let's merge the two reflection layers together. To do this, press Ctrl or Command plus E. Change the Blend Mode to Soft Light. Let's add a drop shadow to our gold record. Make the layer mask of the record active and click on the FX icon. Choose Drop Shadow. Make the Blend Mode Multiply, the Distance 5, the Size 5, and the Opacity 30%. Let's add this logo of the Recording Industry Association of America. The logo is generally seen on plaques of gold records for certification. For your convenience, I provided a link to this image in the video descriptions area so you can download it directly. To get it into our gold record document, click down anywhere in the image and drag it up onto the gold record tab. With your mouse or pen still held down, drag it down onto the image and release. Drag it to the lower right corner. As you can see, it disappeared past the shape of the record. We need to drag the logo's layer above the record's layer mask. Now we can see it and move it.
Let's rename it RIAA Logo. Call up your rectangular marquee tool and drag out a rectangle close to the perimeter of your background. Go to Edit and Stroke. We'll make the stroke 2 pixels and the location center. Click on the color box and choose black. Delete the selection and click on the FX icon. Choose bevel and emboss. We'll make the technique chisel hard and the style emboss. Make the direction down and the size 2 pixels. Reduce the fill to 60% and press Ctrl or Command plus H to hide the guidelines. Now that you've made yourself a gold record, I'll show you how to make a custom record label for it in my next tutorial. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.